Good evening, and thank you for joining us tonight. WVU and Marsh University presidents go before lawmakers and show their balanced budgets. Big difference from last year when WVU faced a $45 million deficit. But something needs to continue evolving to stay ahead of the curve. Daniel Burbank is here in the studio with data to show it. Daniel? Dave, Gina, a Gallup poll shows Americans' trust in higher education is down sharply. Now, the global consulting company did this study back in 2015, then again this past summer, showing every age, education, gender, and political party agreed on one thing. Americans' confidence in higher education is down a lot. West Virginia University and Marshall University had large budget deficits in 2023, WVU cutting 28 majors and Marshall raised tuition. It's important for us to recognize that we need to complement and collaborate, not compete. We have the same shared goals, and we need to make sure that we're making the collective stronger. Thursday, WVU and Marshall University presidents testify before a Senate Finance Committee, saying their budgets are mostly balanced and looking towards investments. Are we going to be in the same boat, you know, in 2026, 27? No, absolutely not. Not unless, not unless, of course, there's a major recession or some other kind of problem. That that's a national problem. But as far as the university is concerned, we're very, we're very uh, committed to what we're doing. The universities are now dealing with another hurdle in the coming years. Governor Jim Justice proposed a 5% raise for state employees, something WVU says may happen, but they do not have enough for all 5% and higher PEIA costs. We're not having uh, abnormal claims experience, and so I think some of us who represent the higher education areas of the state are saying, why are we seeing such increases in premiums? Marshall University, West Virginia University, and the West Virginia Department of Commerce are focusing on the state's future economy. Marshall University's President Brad Smith says they plan to have every student graduate without student loan debt by 2037. Now, when asked if they could achieve this goal, Smith responding with having low tuition cost, federal dollars, and fundraising will help reach this goal. Live in the studio, Daniel Burbank, Eyewitness News. Thanks so much for watching. Here's another video from Eyewitness News. Just click right here to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell notification to get the very latest.